Libra, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly read, the last one for 2018, um, from the 23rd to the 29th of December. I'm trying to get the readings out early so I can wrap presents and do all the fun things tomorrow. It's getting close to Christmas, so if I get them out today, then I can do a bit around the house tomorrow and get my presents wrapped. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. You do continue to be one of my biggest followers and that's pretty, it's pretty important to me. So thank you. If you've only just joined us, welcome on board. If the readings don't resonate, you can move on and find another reader or check out other aspects of your birth chart, your natal chart before you go. I am using the Handsome Roberts deck. Um, and I will pull, I was able to buy a couple of decks of cards with my donations. So um, I have the Angel Oracle cards out here. And so I can pull you a card from that when I've finished. And if you'd like to donate or you would like a personal reading from me, all the information is in the box below. Beautiful. Okie dokie, five of rods coming out for you, Libra. So this is about having conflict with someone. It is about... Um, you know, some sort of bickering here, some sort of disagreements. Sometimes this can talk about internal conflict, but I feel like today this is talking about you bickering with someone else. It's not a bad thing. You're just poking someone with a stick a little bit, you know, and maybe trying to get some sort of reaction from somebody. But there's definitely a feeling that you're, I don't know, trying to wake someone up or, or trying to get someone to understand something. Seven of Pentacles. So this is the card of um, planting seeds for the future, uh, being patient while they bear fruit, but also look at him. He's so over it. So if you've been waiting for something for a while, you might be getting a little bit bored of that. And it could be about a soulmate relationship here. So we have the Two of Cups coming out after that. So that says to me that you've got, either you've been waiting on some sort of relationship to come forward. That's mental conflict. It is mental conflict there. I feel like you've been waiting for something to come forward. Been waiting for someone, I think. Okay, Page of Pentacles here. This talks about an offer. It is something that's only small because it is a page. So it could be a text or... Um, a letter or not that people use letters very much anymore but maybe an email this can be about work it can be about um, money maybe money coming in but she's now offering this this someone in this couple is being offered this this offer there's some sort of communication here because it's the pentacle from the other side so it's something you've been waiting on here some sort of communication. Okay, so it could be from an earth sign because she's too holding the pentacle. If you could see the story here, it's very straightforward. Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Can be also a woman who's very natural, very down to earth, very honest, genuine in her dealings, nurturing. Look, she has a bunny. Um, so you could be dealing with an earth sign. Everybody wants to offer you their pentacle here. <laughs> so you may have just moved away from something or you may be moving towards something here, but you're definitely moving out of much more turbulent waters to move into something more calm and stable. Um, you have got all your thoughts, ideas and everything in the boat with you. So you are moving towards something and taking everything you have with you, not leaving any of these experiences behind. And here you are looking out towards the future, deciding which path to take. So definitely making plans for the future here. The thing is you only have one wand, the other one's behind you. So maybe you're not moving forward with somebody like it looks like in the beginning. Okay, and then we have the Fool. This is definitely about a brand new start here. I can see this in these three cards going across. So the Fool is about taking a leap of faith jumping into the unknown, making a decision to move forward on something. Nine of Rods coming out, talking about setting up your boundaries. You've been injured so many times now. If you don't set up boundaries, you're going to get yourself hurt again. So you're going to be clear about that this time if you want this. 
Ten of Cups, beautiful. Happy ending, we need to stop there. <laughs> so what we have here is we have the Seven of Pentacles. There's a conflict here. Okay, that is mental conflict for sure here. I feel like you're trying to work out whether you want to move forward on an offer or not. So you're looking at both sides. of. I can see this with the Two of Wands. It's like you're looking at both sides of the argument. You're looking straight at the Fool. Do I take a leap of faith? Do I move into much more stable waters? Is this person going to hurt me like it's happened before? And I would say the universe is saying no. This person coming in for you is a soulmate. Um, but it doesn't look like they have any ill all malice at heart here the person that's coming towards you is quite possibly an earth sign and they're coming in with their they're, they're coming away or moving away from something themselves i think so it may have been that they've been in a relationship before but they're offering you something very stable here very steadfast is what they're talking to me steadfast that's a bit old-fashioned um, definitely a brand new start, definitely looking at which road to take here, unsure of whether to move forward on your own or whether to take a risk here and move forward with someone else. But really worried about the past here, worried about, you know, is this person going to, you know, do what the people before have done? So there's a little bit of mistrust here, but also you understanding that you need to set up boundaries with the next person. You can't move forward on it unless... You have put these boundaries in place. And it may have been in past relationships that you haven't done that well. And because of that, your relationships may not have been, I don't want to call it successful. It's not about success. It's about maybe you didn't choose the right person. So the last card we have out here is the Three of Swords. So that's very interesting because I've got here, if you move forward here, it looks like it could result in some sort of disappointment. But then I look at the Ten of Cups here and I think on the other hand it may lead to something happy. And I really feel here that this is about you making sure you've got your boundaries in place before you move forward on this. I think you want to take a risk but you're worried about what's happened in the past. What the universe is saying is if you don't want to worry about past hurts, you need to understand that these boundaries have to be put in place so that people understand where you're coming from and what you want from this relationship. So it does look like a new relationship, though. There's nothing here to say it's someone from the past or anything like that. Um, definitely a soulmate relationship of some kind, whether it's long term or not. I don't know, although the Ten of Cups says it could be. And your cards jumped out by themselves. And the first one is, <laughs> I love spirit. I really do. Thank you so much. One is choose a new direction. So maybe you have to think about whether you want to move forward with this person or not, or whether they're the right person for you. Because this is choose a new direction. It doesn't mean you don't choose a direction with them. It means you're choosing a new direction from the one that you were going towards. But what I love here is communicate clearly. And here's me saying, you make sure you put your boundaries down and you make sure that you tell the person what you expect of them. Don't let them to treat you badly, especially if you've had treatment in the past that hasn't served you. If you want to have a good relationship with someone, you've got to be prepared to put these boundaries in place. It's about protecting yourself. Anyway, Libra, that's your reading for the week. Have a great week.